channel hello and this is notary life with Kimmy well hey guys um, as you know my nephew Cameron has started his notary journey and he actually served as a witness for me today but I'm gonna flip the camera so he can tell you about his experience and I'll ask him a few questions about his first notarization okay yes okay here we go so Cameron um, welcome to notary life with Kimmy if you can just tell us please um, about your first notarization experience today how did it come about? Actually, uh, my mom, she woke me up really early. Um, it was around 7 in the morning. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, a friend, a friend of my mom's, uh, she needed she needed a quick notary, and she was in a rush to go to work. So my mom called her. She said, hey, my son can do it. Um, he's really he's just, he's just getting started, you know. He can do it for you. And I, it came to me as a shock because, like I said, I was still asleep. So when she came over, I looked at the documents and I realized that you know it wasn't that hard, it wasn't that complicated. Um, it, it was actually what we went over in the training. So okay. looking for looking for everything I need to look for, it was pretty simple. I didn't get caught up, I didn't get confused. It worked pretty well. Um, I got the signatures, I got the driver's license, I put her on her oath, you know, I did the sign it, and that was that. And let's talk about your training a little bit. So I know you took um, training, of course, with me. I'm um, part of the notary educators. How did your training prepare you for doing your notarization? Or better question, when you received your commission, did they give you any training from the state? No. They recommended training. They said they had a handbook where they had something to order from the, uh, I think it was called the N NNA? NNA. Uh-huh. Yes, they said they had something for that. It was a ten dollar handbook, but you know I trained with Kimmy here, and she taught me very well. Which was, you know, it's like having a study guide and knowing what, you know, having all the answers. So when I did my first notarization today, it wasn't, it wasn't hard because you know I went over everything that I needed to go. Over. I must admit, I was very proud of you when your mom called and told me that you did your first notarization. So I know you didn't have your journal at the time. Um, what, how did you handle that? being resourceful. I just love the fact that you were so resourceful. What did you do uh, since you didn't have your journal? Well, I didn't have my journal, so I had to look around for like a composition notebook or something like that to make sure I get like the person, the signer's information down, you know, so it's, been, it's good to write down notes. So I used a composition notebook and I wrote down the time. I tried to get her identification. Mm -hmm. Uh, I try to put in any little detail that was important in that situation. I know you mentioned also that you made an error on that um, notarization. Would you mind sharing what the error was and how'd you fix it? Yes, I made a mistake. Uh, I used my uh, stamp. Yeah, it was upside down. So I made the mistake of using my stamp upside down. And I thought I messed up. I thought I messed the document up. So but I had to redo it over it, which made it look messy, not really good, or make it give it like that clean look on the document. So, yeah, that's where I messed up. And that happens. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera, guys. Yeah, I actually talk have made that mistake too. Most notaries have made that mistake of stamping the document upside down. Cameron, we just wanna thank you so much for sharing your journey with us. We'll come back again, guys, as Cameron will open his box that he received all of his supplies and we'll talk about that in the next video also we're going to show you the video where he actually orders his supplies too because a lot of times you want you guys ask me what do i need to order and we're going to take you step by step on cameron's journey so again we are so happy for cameron as part of the notary educators and the notary family out there Cameron, any parting words you'd like to share with any other young person thinking about starting this business what are your thoughts give it a try you know it's, it's you're not really risking anything that deep you know it you know, i think it's worth a shot yeah uh, you know working with kimmy and you know i made a lot of money like i you know in the first video i said i made a I made a few dollars so but i'm making it's, it's coming along great so i think it's worth a shot and i think you should give it a try thank you so much for sharing camera we are so proud of you well, until next time guys this is Notary Life with Kimmy along with Cameron. Bye. Bye.